Abraham Min from Sinthi entered the room and saluted Sri Ramakrishna. He had studied Vedanta in Benares. He was stout and had a smiling face. Master. Hello. How are you? You haven't been here in a long time. Pundit. Smiling. Worldly duty, sir. You know, I have very little leisure. The Pundit sat down and the master began to talk with him. Master. You spent a long time in Benares. Tell us what you saw there. Tell us something about Doyanondo. Pundit Yes, I met him. You also met him, didn't you? Master Yes, I visited him. He was living then in a garden house on the other side of the Ganges. Keshab was expected there that day. He longed for Keshab, as the Chatak bird longs for rain. He was a great scholar and made fun of the Bengali language. He admitted the existence of the deities, but Keshab did not. Dayanandu used to say, God has created so many things. Couldn't he have created the deities? Dayanandu believed the ultimate reality to be without form. Captain was repeating the name of Rama. Dayanandu said to him sarcastically, Better repeat Sandesh. Pundit In Benares, the Pundits had great discussions with Doyanondo. Finally, he was left alone with all the others against him. They made it so hot for him that he thought the only way to save himself was by running away. All the pundits shouted with one voice, Whatever Dayananda has said is to be despised. I saw Colonel Olcott too. The theophysicist believe in the existence of Mahatmas. They also speak of the lunar, solar, stellar and other planes. A theophysist can go in his astral body to all these planes. Oh, Alcott said many such things. Well, sir, what do you think of theosophy? Master the one essential thing is bhakti, loving devotion to God. Do the theosophists seek bhakti? They are good if they do. If theosophy makes the realization of God the goal of life, then it is good. One cannot seek God if one constantly busies oneself with the Mahatmas and the lunar, solar and stellar planes. A man should practice sadhana and pray to God with a longing heart for the love of his lotus feet. He should direct his mind to God alone 
withdrawing it from the various objects of the world the master sang how are you trying o oh my mind to know the nature of god you are groping like a madman locked in a dark room he is grasped through ecstatic love how can you fathom him without it and for that love the mighty yogis practice yoga from age to age when love awakes the lord like a magnet draws to him the soul continuing the master said you may speak of the scriptures of philosophy of vedanta but you will not find god in any of these you will never succeed in realizing god unless your soul becomes restless for him only through affirmation never negation can you know him neither through veda nor through tantra nor the six darshanas it is in love's elixir only that he delights so mind he dwells in the body's inmost depths in everlasting joy one must be very earnest about god listen to another song can everyone have the vision of radha can everyone taste her love this the rarest treasure of all no earthly wealth can buy without devotions and sadhana none can ever obtain it the rain drop falling upon the deep when swati shines on high is formed within the oyster shell into a priceless pearl can such a pearl be formed from rain that falls at other times mothers with their babes in arms may beckon to the moon to leave the sky and come to them but only the babes are fooled does the moon ever leave the sky and dwell upon the earth 